हाई डी एस स्टूडेंट्स डियर फ्रेंड्स हिस्ट्री ऑप्शनल हैज बीन ए वेरी पॉपुलर चॉइस एमंग यूपीएसई एस्पिरेंट्स बट राइटिंग ए गुड एंसर राइटिंग ए स्कोरिंग एंसर इज ए हेडेक फॉर मेनी मेनी एस्पिरेंट्स आर कंफ्यूज and they find it difficult to write scoring answers in history optional here i will be giving you the easiest simple and probably one of the best methods of writing good answers in history optional scoring answers in history optional let us start now and welcome to galanda ias we start with the history optional when it comes to history optional we start with the yeah how to deal the question how to deal this question yeah when it comes to question the first thing i would tell you that uh, read the question read the question at least two times or three times then i would say you underline the keywords underline the keywords then understand the question understand the question completely okay complete understanding of the question that is very 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 important to answer well in your optional okay complete understanding of the question read the question very carefully underline the keywords understand the question completely also notice what is the word limit what is the word limit you might have seen sometimes it is 150 sometimes it is 250 okay then also take care what is the marks allotted marks allotted to that particular question so these are the very basic things you how to do with when you deal the question read the question carefully underline the keywords understand the complete demand of the question yeah also no notice the word limit and know the marks okay once you understood the question next part is answering when it comes to answering please take care yeah practice in this upsc upsc answer sheets UPSC answer sheets are available in UPSC website. Okay, so print out these UPSC answer sheets with that uh, double margins because that will give you an exact picture how many pages you require for writing an answer, how many words you write in a line, how many lines you write in a page, how many pages require. according to your handwriting how many pages require you to finish 150 words 250 words okay so practice in upsc answer sheets then your answer must have conceptual clarity this is very important okay your answer should not have fantasy fancy flowery words and that kind of extraordinary vocabulary etc if you have that that is super fine but make your answer simple lose it and it should communicate what is the central theme of your answer okay use the symbol language symbol vocabulary and sometimes history optional oriented terms terminologies you must use okay so your answer should have the conceptual clarity the concept you have to communicate to well that's very important then i would say apt content answer must have the apt content unnecessary contents and extra fittings exaggerations etc please avoid upsc will never give mark for your extra uh, like uh, uh, extra extra fittings or exaggerations etc will not score you just give the apt content the quality content matters then next important is you must have a very good presentation you should have a very good presentation conceptual clarity 
apt content and a good presentation. Good presentation may include use of diagrams, flowcharts, if any, or dividing it into various subheadings, subtitles, subpoints. Okay, so or small small paras. Okay, your answer should have a structure, intro, body, conclusion. So that presentation is also very very important when it comes to answering. Now your answer has so take a conceptual clarity, apt content, and good presentation. Now, when it comes to your answer, your answer has three parts. Remember, your answer has three parts. Introduction, body and conclusion. Introduction, body and conclusion. Introduction, body and conclusion. Now, the question is how to write an introduction. How to write the body of the answer. How to write the conclusion of the answer. Yeah, introduction. Let us see, when it comes to introduction, almost every aspirant face this difficulty, what to write in the first line, how to start the answer. How to start the answer or what to write in the first line, that is always conf confusing for many aspirants. So let me tell you, when it comes to introduction, your introduction has to be very concise and precise, okay? It should be a very short, very short intro, just to define, define these key terms in the question, make it into two to three lines, enough, okay? Two to three lines and be realistic, I would say. Be realistic, realistic in the sense that no additional fittings, no flashback, that is also very important, no flashback, no flashback is required, no like a detailed background scripting is not required, no flashback scripting is not required, okay, just directly you say, you define what is the, uh, what is the key points, broader points in the question. So your introduction has to be very precise, it has to be short, it has to be direct and it has to define the key terms in the question. For example, let us answer a question. The question is, yeah, for example, there was a UPSC question. In the absence of, in the absence of this written script, In the absence of the written script, this poetry, poetry means this calcolithic, calcolithic or chalcolithic poetry, it gives a fascinating account about the culture and the lifestyle of calcolithic people calcolithic people critically examine the word is critically examine the word is critically examine just look into that in the absence of in the absence of written script the Calcolithic or chalcolithic poetry gives a fascinating account about culture and lifestyles of calcolithic people critically examined. This is the question. What must be your intro? What must be your intro? Yeah, in the introduction you will be writing. You will be defining what is that... Uh, Calcolithic. This calcolithic. This calcolithic or chalcolithic age. What is this? This is a prehistoric. Prehistoric. Yeah, this uh, copper stone age. Okay. And this information about uh, prehistoric copper stone age. This was mostly available. This was a transition age. Am I right? Between. Neolithic and this Indus or Bronze Age. So, this Chalcolithic, it was a prehistoric age, it was a Copper Stone Age, 
and here only archaeological okay archaeological evidences are available in order to understand this culture this was a prehistoric copper stone age then you can say for example yeah what are the different classifications or examples of calcolithic age you may say this uh, jorve culture or this uh, ahar culture or maybe this malwa culture Khaida culture etc. Okay, Calcolithic age it is a prehistoric copper stone age. Most of the informations you know archaeological evidences are available only to understand this age because uh, that uh, written scripts or nothing is available here that not developed here. Jorve Ahar Malwa cultures are some examples. You said it in a single line what is Calcolithic age? What are the examples of Calcolithic age? That's it. Introduction is over. Now come to the body part. So introduction has to be short introduction define these key terms introduction has to be in two to three lines it has to be realistic don't use artificial artistic lines over there now here the body part what must be the body part yeah in the body part you give the relevant point only relevant points only don't give blah 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 in the body part that will irritate the examiner that will be an irritation for the examiner only give the valid point for example, in the absence written in the absence of written script, poetry of the Chalcolithic age gives a fascinating account about culture and lifestyle of these Chalcolithic people critically examined. Definitely, you will say, what are those? Yeah, you will say, what are those like uh, uh, informations or how these cultural and these uh, uh, like uh, lifestyles of the Calcolithic people discussed or maybe that is given by this uh, poetry of Calcolithic age. We will be saying their poetry, ultra colored poetry, black and uh, red wear. The poetry of Calcolithic people give us an information about, yeah, for example, this uh, wide mouth pots and this narrow neck jars, bowls, they give us an information about their, about their food habits or about their, I mean, storage, storage of the grains, okay, storage of the grains means it indicates their surplus production, their surplus production, and these narrow neck jars means they used for brewing, brewing purposes, mostly for this, you know, wine making, or maybe wine consumption, okay, we also get the information about yeah, grain to clay, they used for this uh, making of this pottery, that will give us an information about their settlements, the type of the soil, type of soil they used to means to give us an information about uh, their settlements in these uh, semi-arid regions and also semi-arid regions and the river banks, okay. Again, let us say the paintings. The paintings on this pottery or pot, it gives us information about uh, yeah, the, the religious life. The different deities, you get the images of different deities or about the tree worship. Idea about the tree worship, you get an idea about the yeah, spiritual belief. Spiritual belief. The paintings also give you an idea about their artistic sense. Their artistic sense. Okay. Again, you can see there are different motifs. Motifs are there or maybe these geometrical patterns are there. Which give you an idea about their abstract painting. Okay. So, all these are the informations and also you can see uh, it's some some pods are identified from the graves 
it gives information about their burial practices and their life after death concept etc so these are some informations so how these uh, calcolithic pottery gives an account about their fascinating cultural and these lifestyles etc but it is critically examined question is asking for critically examine so you have to go for its critical side what is the critical side yeah this pottery even though giving a fascinating account about these lifestyles of calcolithic people that is not the complete you see a concrete picture a concrete history of calcolithic people is not constructed by this pottery okay pottery means that is giving only one side i mean the material aspect of this calcolithic people only contributed by the pottery and also what all these uh, uh, what all we explained now they are basically speculations regional differences are there and the paintings they used motifs they used we explained in our own way and these are based on some ideas some assumptions some speculations so other archaeological evidences are also brought under this research or under this cross study cross examination like their fossils fossils of their animals they domesticated or about their graves the artifacts from their graves or about their what is called grains okay so different aspects their copper tools their stone tools etc all this has to be other archaeological evidence also has to be excavated examined then only we can construct the proper history of this chalcolithic people their uh, cultural life lifestyles etc so that criticism also limitations also how to bring into this so what i am saying is in the body part you should give the relevant points only and definitely another important thing is you take care underlining underline these key points in the answer then use the sub sub subheadings use the subheadings okay use the subheadings you can use the subtitles okay for example point number 1 point number 1.1 point, point number 1.2 point okay use the subheading subtitles okay points and the sub points you can use like this mention the sources okay in the history you take care for example you are answering why this post modern age is called a dark age when you say this or when it is asked for a critical examination evaluation critical assessment of that statement in many aspects it was a dark age and in many aspects it was not a dark age it can be called as a golden age so many call it as dark age that is the perspective of some historians that is the opinion of some historians imperialist historians orientalist historians nationalist historians marxist historians different historians different schools of thought existed there so they approached this post maurya age somebody as dark age somebody as golden age so you just to give the different sources name of the historians in order to substantiate your arguments so sources you should give again i would say that uh, you should give sufficient examples give sufficient examples according to demand of question and sometimes socio economic cultural religious aspects you have to discuss in the answer give broader dimensions different dimensions you try to bring into the answer and uh, regarding the body part i am talking about the body part regarding the body part body part you can write in paragraph wise or bullet point wise also that is your choice sometimes you can mix it also okay small paragraphs and bullet points that way also you can present the answer now when it comes to the conclusion i would say don't give okay don't give absolute conclusions because history keeps on changing you know that history you know new studies are there new excavations are there new interpretations are there so these accounts keep on changing these opinions and these views that keep on changing so history has many perspectives history has many accounts and history keeps on changing so take care that take care that your conclusion should not be an absolute conclusion it has to be an open ended conclusion okay now i will operate each of these part in our regular sessions i will not be discussing all these things into answer this is the basic broader idea i given you for answering for writing a very quality answer scoring answer in your optional exam 
okay and how to deal with each part of this sufficient examples and sufficient solutions i will be giving in our regular sessions okay so just follow this this pattern will definitely help you to score well in your history optional and so writing okay so stay tuned and please do subscribe our channel if you liked this session and uh, yes wishing you happy preparation days ahead thank you